Guys, I've been Zooming over the last three months due to Corona and I have started a podcast and I've been educating and talking to people and moving a lot of my business on to Zoom. And what I've had to do is I've always had to take the camera that I vlog with, the camera that you guys are on now, put that into the computer and reset all my settings and make that happen and it's always kind of a nuisance. I've always had to change my battery in between and make sure that my audio is set and everything's set and I had to do this every single time I went on Zoom which is once or twice a day and it got a little tedious so I decided that I wanted a standalone camera system that will allow me to just plug and play and zoom and I have everything for it right now so I'm gonna do an unboxing and show you guys what I got. So if you are gonna have a little zoom or a Facebook Live or something set up to your computer at all time, even YouTube tutorials, this setup will get you going as far as camera wise. So let's do that unboxing slash tip list right now. What's going on guys, it's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, guys, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If the video helps you anyway, give it a thumbs up and then click that bell for notifications. It'll tell you every time I come on. Guys, just like the intro said, we're gonna unbox a bunch of stuff I just got, did a bunch of research, found a bunch of stuff, and I've decided that uh, it's gonna have a standalone system on my computer over here along with my mic and Mac, and that way when I go Zoom or I go live, I just get to turn on a button and don't have to worry about anything else and I just go. So let's get started right away. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna open up this Sony A6000. Yes, this camera is five years old, but this camera is amazing. So I bought this brand new for about $400 on Adorama. And guys, we're not gonna do a full unboxing. I'm just gonna show you guys the camera and why I got it. So it comes with a strap, it comes with charging cords, it comes with a battery. It does not come with a charger itself, something that you guys should know about this. But guys, the reason I chose this camera was because this camera um, has a clean HDMI. And what that means is the camera that I'm on now, you guys can't see it, but there's a box that kind of circles my face. And when I go, go on to zoom, it actually takes everything that you see on the screen. So all your aperture settings, your shutter settings, your f-stop settings, all that will actually show up on the screen as well. And it's quite embarrassing. In fact, there's a couple YouTube videos that I've done where I have that on there and I didn't realize, but I filmed so much good content that I couldn't do it again. Sony a6000, a lot of Sony cameras have a clean HDMI, meaning that it doesn't show up on the screen when you put it through HDMI. So this baby is amazing. Yes, it has a tilt-up screen. I'm not using the screen at all for this. This is literally like a camcorder or just like a webcam that I'm using it as. Small, lightweight, um, has a hot shoe if I need it, has a pop-up flash if I need it, but we're literally just gonna leave this in video mode, not change the settings, and this is my baby set up right here. So this is a Sony a6000, about 400 bucks. Pretty good deal for this. The next thing we have that you guys have seen me unbox for the Canon version is a Sigma 16 1.4. Guys, the lens that you're looking at right now is a 16 millimeter equivalent, right? So that means that I get all of this and I love that. I just really don't want to compromise anything else with a different viewpoint of lens. So knowing that I've been vlogging with a 16 millimeter lens and YouTubing and zooming, I wanted something that would be the same. That way I can get a lot of the view of this room because I do have it in the back and I get a view of all this right here and I want to maintain that. So this is a 16 millimeter Sigma lens. This thing is freaking amazing. Um, so it's not too big. Um, it doesn't change or it's not 16 to anything and it just lives in here. If I can get this on, then this will look a lot cooler. Uh, okay, Becky. I know I, I do this with like my eyes closed with all my cameras. Okay. We have this, it comes with a hood as well. You can use, you don't have to, but guys, this is the setup right here. This baby right here. So this is the meat of everything, right? So we have our 
16 millimeter lens, which will give me a really good wide focal length. We have our Sony a6000, which has clean HDMI. Everything's adjustable. We get to play with it from there. One of the most important things that you're going to need, guys, is this is from Elgato. This is a cam link. I've done unboxings on this before, but in order for you to actually get your footage from your camera into your computer via HDMI, you have to have one of these. This is about $125. I got mine at Best Buy, but you can go to elgato.com. As of right now, everything's sold out, of course, because everybody's zooming, but this is a secret. So you plug this in here, you plug it into your USB, and then all of a sudden, your computer will recognize this as a webcam, any camera that takes HDMI input will recognize the webcam and you can actually webcam it out. So if you have the camera laying around two or three of them, you can actually get a few of these and, and have different angles all at once. So this is a secret. This is a cam link by Elgato. I'll try to throw everything in the description so you guys know what you need to get. In total, this system is about $1,000 for everything that I did. You can save money by obviously getting a, a cheaper camera that has a built-in lens. The lens right here is about $400 for the 60 millimeter. So that's $800, $900 right there. So I did get an extra memory card, um, kind of came with it, but you guys actually don't need a memory card for this setup. It doesn't pull any of the memory. It just goes straight into the computer. Again, it acts as a webcam. So this is just extra for me. Got an extra battery because it came with it, but you actually will not need the battery that comes with it. Um, of course, when you buy a camera, it's gonna always at least come with one battery. Um, but here's a trick to this. So this was actually one of the hardest things to find. You have to find the brand of battery that you use for this camera. And what I did was I bought what is called a dummy battery, guys. So this is a dummy battery. And what it is, it's a shape of your battery. It's actually, a, it's a battery, but it's hollow inside, right? It goes into your camera and this actually plugs into this USB and this plugs into your wall, it's an AC adapter. What this does is it allows me to constantly power my camera without ever having to change the batteries. That may not sound like a huge deal to you, but I know sometimes when we're setting up these setups, we might have this computer or this camera behind our computer or to the side. And I know when I do zoom and stream and zoom and stream, after about 90 minutes to two hours, my battery is gone. And it's really embarrassing to have to switch out your battery halfway. So this just plugs right in, I plug it in and it's constant battery. I just turn on and off the camera when I need to and I never have to change out my battery again. And since this will live next to my computer at all times, this makes the most sense. For some reason, this was incredibly hard to find. Sony makes one for 100. I actually got this off Walmart um, for $15, so cool. Um, again, I don't shop on Amazon. I have personal reasons and I think Amazon's crap, um, but uh, you guys can get these on Walmart, Adorama, b and Photo, all that stuff. So this thing is killer. The reason I took so long actually making this video, it's, it's almost June, is because of waiting for this. So guys, the last thing that I am still waiting on, but I decided to make this video anyways, is just some sort of tripod. You guys need something that will have some good height, that's adjustable up and down, that you're able to adjust your camera as needed. Once you have your camera kind of in a set area, you're most likely never gonna change it. You won't really have to, unless you wanna get into that mode. So I bought a uh, switch pod. So a switch pod, is uh, that's actually another one I have one back here and a switch pod all it is is a tall tripod and then all you need to do is get a really good ball mount that goes on top if you guys do need more height what I recommend is looking at regular tripods that um, are for desks so you can go on and look for a tripod that's built for a desk and sometimes it'll have an extension that goes up and down on top of it and if you have the room to put a tripod behind your desk, I recommend that even more. That way you can lift and adjust, put it behind and adjust your angles as you have. As you have. So guys, with this $1,000 setup or so, you can have a fixed camera system. Of course, you can move it around if you want, but the goal is having a fixed camera system that you can just turn on, turn off, and never have to worry about adjusting settings ever again, and this is your go-to. So you can zoom in an instant, and you never have to worry about it. When I record and zoom, I of course record everything to my computer, and then figure out a way to edit it from there so I don't record anything on the camera. So guys, hope this helps on my stuff that I'm using right now. Of course, being a professional photographer, I have cameras all over. I think I have like 40 cameras now. And yes, I needed to buy a brand new camera for this. It's just a way to do things. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please comment below. Hope you're having a good day. I will talk to you later. Bye.